Let's bring in Makai Mason, the uh, Yale sophomore guard. Had the big uh, big game against Baylor with 31 points. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, the team is pretty high off the win, but at the same time, we know we need to refocus and uh, be ready for Saturday against Duke. How did you celebrate last night? Um, we had a big dinner with the alumni. Um, you know, Chris Dudley was there, Butch Graves. Uh, they threw a a big shindig for us, I guess. Um, and, you know, we just kind of ate like kings and then returned <laughs> to the hotel. Uh, what was the game plan going into Baylor? Um, you know, they're a great rebounding team, so we knew we needed five guys in the glass every possession. Um, and that was going to be a, a huge key for us. Um, and then just kind of trying to contain their penetration. You know, Prince... Uh, did a great job of hitting jump shots, but that's kind of what we wanted to do, force the team to uh, make some jump shots. How surprised were you what happened last night? You know, I wasn't surprised at all. Um, this team has a belief in itself. Um, you know, we may have shocked uh, some other people, but uh, not the guys on the scene. I'm, I'm wondering if you uh, you had us going to, um, advancing against Bella well, in your bracket. Well, if I was allowed to change it yesterday morning, then I would have, but... I don't think anybody's surprised that you won. They, or at yeah. least they shouldn't be. But uh, I, in, and I think the first time I really realized how good you guys were was when you played Duke back in December. And you held your own. Now, granted, it, it got out of hand there at the end. But you guys held your own with Duke at Duke. And uh, then all of a sudden I, I realized that, you know what, uh, you guys were a lot better than what people think. Yeah, that's, uh, it was definitely a tough place to play. But... Being on a neutral court, it will definitely be, uh, hopefully it'll be a different game. Uh, also, how many teams in the uh, uh, tournament recruited you? Um, I'm not even sure, to be honest with you. Um, did Duke? <clears throat> early on in my freshman year, they did, yeah. Um, and then they kind of came to one of my early AU team uh, games, and I was playing up on a U-17 team. And I d it wasn't a great experience for me. I didn't play with all that tournament, and they kind of stopped recruiting me after that. So, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be nice to uh, get them back a little bit. Did you want to go there? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a uh, it's pretty much every kid's dream to play basketball at Duke for Coach K. It's a you know historic program, and they've done uh, so well for themselves over there. Um, but yeah, I just didn't. I wasn't really recruited highly. Uh, after uh, my freshman year. But is there a stereotype playing in the Ivy League? Do you feel that when you step outside of the Ivy League? Um, I think a little bit, but I think it's definitely changing. You know, we have, uh, you know, we've had some tournament success with uh, Cornell a while ago and then Harvard these last few years. Um, so I definitely think it's uh, the perception of us is kind of evolving. He's Which is definitely a good thing. He's Makai Mason, the Yale guard at 31 in the win over Baylor, joining us, Dan Patrick show. I was kind of fascinated with uh, with your mom. Pretty uh, pretty creative when it comes to naming her children here, right? Yeah, she is. Um, she wanted to name me Wolfgang originally, um, so I'm thankful that didn't happen. My dad uh, <laughs> kind of vetoed that one, so I'm thankful for that. Wait, y your dad vetoed that? <laughs> yeah, he did. Okay, and then your older brothers, their names. Yeah, Akira, Sandino, and Yukio. So did she fall in love with the Hawaiian names? Is that where all of this comes from? Because Wolfgang is German. Yeah, they're not all Hawaiian, but uh, I guess she just like unique names. Um, wanted us to stand out a little bit. I like that. Well, yeah, I do too. It helps that you, you, know, you uh, score 31 points. You can stand out that way instead, yeah. of, a, instead of a name. Yeah, I guess that helps a little bit. Uh, how much did do, is will it help you guys that you've already faced Duke, granted at Duke, but you're not going to be surprised at anything as far as size or speed or length or any of that? Right. Um, you know, they, they kind of surprised us uh, in the first game with a 1-3-1 one one that we weren't um, completely uh, prepared for. You know, we knew they had it, but um, their length was something that we couldn't really simulate in practice. Um, so just to... Uh, know how to attack that and we'll definitely be prepared for that zone you ready for great around you ready for grace and allen yeah i'm ready it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a fun challenge you know he, he uh plays his butt off out there and he's, he's fun to watch in that way so uh hopefully we can can contain him don't let him trip you though <laughs> uh i think
think we'll be all right. Uh, well, congrats on the success yesterday. Good luck against Duke, and uh, thanks for joining us, Mackay. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. All right, Mackay Mason. 31 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, and not afraid.